In Thursday night's game between the Bulls and the Warriors, Steph Curry injures his right ankle. Welcome back everyone, my name is Dr. Stephen Wilson and the purpose of this channel is to help explain sports injuries. So we'll go and take a look at the replay here. Uh, this is what happened Thursday night. It is late in the fourth quarter and the Warriors have possession. Curry is cutting through the key towards the basket where he receives the pass. He dribbles once and then his right ankle, uh, right here, it turns. We'll stop the video here and we can see how much his right ankle folds over and then Curry, he does yell out in pain. Uh, we have an even better view of what happens here. Uh, this angle is from lower to the floor and again we see Curry uh, cut towards the hoop and there, uh, right there, we get a clean look at his right ankle. So what is happening here is that Curry planted with his right foot, so there's a lot of momentum going through his right leg, and then he attempts to change direction and make a pass out into the corner. With this amount of force going through his right leg, this causes his right ankle to roll into a position, what is called inversion. When it comes down or when he comes down on his right ankle, initially his toes, uh, they're pointed downward in plantar flexion, and then the inversion occurs. With this lateral motion going through his ankle, which is a hinge joint, this will stress the connective tissue on the outside of his ankle. The joint capsule itself will certainly be irritated, but the, but the tissue uh, that connects bone to bone and literally holds your ankle joint together will be placed under a lot of tension and it will be stressed. Here I'm referring to the ligaments on the outside of his ankle. With plantar flexion combined with inversion, this will stress what is called the ATFL or the anterior talofibular ligament. These two motions combined together create the most common mechanism of injury in ankle sprains. Without question, this ligament will be injured. It's just a matter of how much. Curry will certainly undergo diagnostic imaging on his ankle to further help with his diagnosis. At this time, there is no media release just yet as to what those results are. A fracture, you know, typically an avulsion type fracture, is definitely a concern as well. That is when the connective tissue around the ankle is tensioned so hard and so fast that it pulls off of the bony attachment and takes a piece of the bone with it as well. I do want to also mention one other possibility. Whenever you have plantar flexion and a rotational component through the forefoot area in a weight-bearing position, this can cause a condition called a Lisfranc fracture to occur. Again, this is where the diagnostic imaging is essential in order, in order to rule in or rule out this list of differentials. Later in the replay, we do see Curry making his way to the Warriors locker room. He is favoring his right foot for sure, and limping, but at least he is able to make it there under his own power. While in the locker room, he will have his right ankle examined by the team's training staff, and they will be checking for signs of swelling and bruising. Orthopedically, they will also check for adequate range of motion and any instability within the joint itself. A list of criteria called the Ottawa Ankle Rules will also likely be utilized in order to gain more information here. Swelling control will also be administered, and then they will plan for the course of action with diagnostic imaging. Steph will also participate largely in the exam by indicating what happened and where he is feeling the discomfort. So let's take a look at the anatomy model here and we'll piece together what has happened. Here is a picture of your right lower leg to orient ourselves. The long bone on top is your shin bone, known as your tibia, and the other long bone beside it is your fibula. Below your tibia is your talus bone, which makes up the bottom part of the actual ankle joint. So here, between your talus and your tibia, this is your ankle mortis. This joint has to be held together by connecting the bones together, and that is the role of the ligaments. So we know that Curry's ankle rolled over into inversion, which means his ankle turned uh, in this motion here. So when doing so, this again 
This will stress the ligaments on the outside of his ankle, mainly what is called the ATFL or the anterior talofibular ligament, which is located just here, and also the posterior talofibular ligament, which is right about here. Steph Curry will be in discomfort tonight, but hopefully soon he will be able to return to game action. Thank you for watching.